Hello everyone, Venris here and today we'll be talking about the new SFO update and some of the changes that are coming to the Fer Petunia. So the faction that is really neglected in vanilla for ages right now, even the previous updates of 3.1 added the things that were not working for the, so the fraud for the themselves. Uh, but we are not talking about this today and the thing that I want to focus on with this video are the chivalry new resource and the peasant economy three of those uh, two of those that are in vanilla so chivalry and peasants economy are very important for the bretonia but the chivalry is let's call it this is just a no-brainer uh, thing you're just using it for getting the best bonuses for the faction and getting the green knight but the peasant economy is a bit different because it's more or less the penalty uh, thing why because when you're getting over the cap over the cap of the peasant economy, you're getting the penalties. So we are changing the things a bit. First of all, let's talk about the chivalry. First of all, first of all, and first of all, <laughs> chivalry is only about knights and characters from now on. So the leadership bonuses, the experience bonuses are only for the Bretonian knight units. Of course, in the FSFO, if you don't know, depending on the chivalrous level, you are able to summon Green Knight outside of being an agent in the defensive battles for all of your Britonia defensive battles. Other thing is that with the chivalry that is used for more stuff. If we look on the technology tree, we have that each of our legendary lords in, in SFO have own technology line. This is the Luen one, and it's used using the chivalry to access those technologies. With the peasant economy, the big change with SFO upcoming update is that depending on the tier of, eco of peasant economy, it will be given different bonuses. Those effects that you see are the maximum value when it's above a uh, uh, value of cap. Yeah, so below, let's call it maybe. Uh, those are quite simple. Yeah, income from farms, construction time, casualty replenishment for all the peasants and upkeep for all the peasants. So as you can see, we have a big separation right now. Chivalry is all about the knights. Peasants economy is about the peasants. Yeah, but when the thing is going under the cap, like, so you want to make all peasants armies. Yeah, so minus 21 to minus 40, those effects will change. We'll have higher control over our populace. Peasants melee defense will increase their experience gain and income from farms. Those are the effects and all of those effects are positive but the income from farm is not. As you're getting more peasants to army, less of them are working on the field. But still, as you can see, if you have more than the cap, uh, then the economy is weaker but the peasants itself and the control is higher for the whole faction. And the third resource that we have right now that we are adding with this update is called Valo. Valo is quite simple thing because you're getting it from vows. Yeah, so each vow your you character is having counsel. will now generate Valor per turn. Important thing with this is that Lu and Lun Call can have also it from battles, so not only from the vows. And it's used for two things. Technologies and heroism. You saw it with technologies. We locked some of the technologies under Valor right now. So technology uh, for Bretonia having a lot of changes, but this is not the topic for this video. This is one of the new resources in the technologies. Other thing that is used the most are the units. So all night unit, night units have the upgrades right now system. And if you go, we have something like Heroism Renewal, so the unit replenishment is way higher. Hero, hero is in, indomitable, <laughs> so uh, when under thresholds of health, unit is having better stats. And the last one allows a unit to dismount during the battle. Yeah. So in battles, you can use this new ability to dismount. And use, using it on your unit, make it that it's a foot unit to the end of the battle. Of course, for the Bretonia, we have way more uh, interesting changes, but again, this would be like a for the full video. Thank you everyone for watching, and that was Venris. I'm out.